Alright, I just went through this, and then the battery on my phone died. So, we're going to try it again. This is an Altair 8800 Micro. It is an emulator of the venerable MITS Altair 8800 from the 70s, which was basically the, pers the first personal computer that you could buy either assembled or as a kit and build and do stuff with. There wasn't much to do with them back in the day but uh, people figured things out. Um, it was actually the computer that caused Bill Gates to drop out of college and found a little company called Microsoft um, and their basic was the first first program the first commercial program they wrote was Microsoft Basic was for the Altair 8800. Um, people ask me why build computers with switches and lights. I have a couple of them and um, the answer to that question is for the experience of doing it. It's fun. They're fun to play with. Um, it's uh, it's interesting to take a bag of parts, build it into something that actually does something. It may not necessarily be useful, but it does something. Um, this is the most useful of the computers I've built. Um, this one, you can program it from the front panel using the switches and see the results of your program on the lights. Um, but it also has a what's called a terminal emulator built in where you can hook up a keyboard and monitor to it. Um, this computer will actually run an operating system called CPM which is a, a precursor to DOS. DOS borrowed heavily from CPM and, um, and this can run that Microsoft DOS that, uh, that Bill Gates and crew created. And But now I'm going to do a demo of programming from the front panel I um, actually went through and did the whole program and then the battery in the phone went, even though the phone was plugged in to charge, uh, I got the low battery message and couldn't continue programming. So I'm going to reset the machine and there it is. Now hitting reset sets the counter, the address counter to all zeros. These lights are for the address in uh, address location either in memory or um, a peripheral device these top lights are the data lights so these lights show you where you are in memory these lights show you what is stored in that memory location um, these switches control either the address or the data um, if you want to go to an address or if you want to put data in an address use these switches um, you do that with the deposit and deposit next switch. So the first step of the program is 072 in location 0000. So if I put 072 on these switches, hit deposit, you can see 072. Next step is 200, which is an address. I want the computer to go to address 200 and get a number that's going to be stored there. Deposit next. You can see I'm at address 1 for the program, and the instruction is 200. It's actually data, it's, it's an address. The next value to store is 000. So all the switches down, deposit next, 000, zero, zero in location 2. Um, there are 16 switches here, 16 lights. This computer uses 16-bit addressing. Uh, the data is only 8 bits. So to tell the computer to go to an address, you have to use um, 2 bytes. The low byte was 200. This is the high byte, 000. zero, zero next instruction is 107 
one zero seven deposit next one zero seven in location three zero seven two again zero seven two two zero one that's our next address two zero one we're going to store the second this program adds two numbers and stores the the sum in a third location so 200 is where the first number is going to be stored 201 is where we're going to store the second number and the full address is 201 000, 000. 200 again here. And then 062. Uh, 202. That's where we want to store the answer. And now 303, um, each processor has its own programming code, its own set of what they call opcodes, um, which are decoded as instructions. And I don't know all of the 8080 instructions yet, but 303 I know is a jump instruction. So I'm telling the computer, the program I want it to jump to an address, and the address I want it to jump to is 000, for the high byte of 000, back to the beginning. So let's just step through the program first. The address I want to go to is 0, hit examine, and now I'm at address 0, and in address 0 is stored a 72, and that's correct. I'm going to go examine next and get to location 1 and that's a 200 and then 000, 000 107 and then 72 201 000 200 062 202 000 303 Zero 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 zero. That's the complete program. Now, to tell the computer the numbers I want it to add, I need to go to location two hundred two zero zero. I'll go examine. And you can see I've jumped to two zero zero, and there's a two there. I don't want a two there. I want a one there. So we'll deposit that one. And there it is. And now we'll go to location 201. Examine. And there's a 1 in location 201. I don't want that. I want a 2 there. So now 201, there's a 2. And location 203. Oh, hold on. I screwed up. Okay. 200, 201, and 202. So at 200, zero, zero, there's a 1. Okay. Examine next. There's a 2. Okay. And now at 202, two, where the answer is going to be, there's a 2 there. I want a 0 there. So double check at 200, I've got a 1. At 201, I've got a 2. And at 202, I've got a 0. So we're going to take that 1 and that 2, we're going to add them up, we're going to put the answer here, and it should be a 3. If the stars align and the batteries in the camera are good.
So the program starts at location 0. My address switch is set to 0. I'm going to examine location 0. That sets the program counter to look to 0. This is my first instruction. And I can step through it, but that's a lot of flicking. I'll just go run. It takes about two tenths of a microsecond for this to finish. It's already done. It's and because of the loop, it's continuously doing it. So it's taking that one and that two and continuously adding them and putting the answer in that location. So I can stop it. And it stops actually at the jump instruction. Now I want to see what my answer was. So the answer was stored in location 202. If I go examine, there's my three. Hold your applause. Hold your applause. Thank you very much. Now, like I said, that's just a quick 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 byte program um, to add two numbers. It's not terribly useful except to demonstrate the concept and, and teach the concepts, which means it's very useful.